Oh, yeah, I got myself some clothes. Look, the first bit of branding. Thanks to Twin Peak Design for this. Massive shout out to you. I will link their website under the video. Enjoy this video. Back to the Paul Alden Details channel, and in this video, I should have been doing a tire dressing, but my buddy who owns this nice 1971 a Triumph TR6 dropped it off and said, It's in a bit of a state. I've been on a road trip, I don't want to wash it. Can you do it? Not a problem, any excuse to do a video. And I was looking at my videos and I thought, You know what? It's getting really crappy weather, it's nice and cold, it's a bit miserable. Around about the time of year, you want to start thinking about putting a sealant on your car. So I looked at my videos and thought, that was a bloody good product. Auto Glance's SIF Seal. Now, um, I've got a number of uh, Auto Glance products. I don't really feature them much on the channel, or haven't done, because I get bombarded with different you know, products. And it's always nice to reach at the back of your cupboard every now and again and grab one of your favourites. Who uh... So in this video, a um, couple of... A couple of issues in this video, as I'm shooting the intro at the end of the video, my pressure washer packed up, I've just got that fixed, so there's not a lot of pressure washer action, and also, it's just been cold and miserable, so excuses, excuses Paul. Anyway, on with the video. So this video isn't just about the LSP, I thought I'd show you some of the uh, wash stages. Paid a particular attention underneath the arches of this car, uh, because there was a lot of grime under there and then hit the wheels with a APC. This is the Gavin Baker's GB Detailing APC. So I'd put it to good use again. Show its versatility. Gave those tires a blooming good scrub. Number of brushes used for this. Got a Vicam brush. There is an Atlas to brush. This is the soft tip version. And then to get to the barrel of the wheel, these huge brakes on this car as well. I've got this EZ Mini brush. And just to finish off, cheap Chinese wash mitt. Do you want to know where to get these from? Just go on eBay. Work out about £1.17 each, I think. Now rather than just hit this with snow foam straight away, I'm just going to show you the power of, of a pressure washer. Uh, this is a C120 Nilfisk. It's not a Kranzel, it's nothing spectacular. There's the line between the dirt and the clean paint. Now it's not spotlessly clean, you know, I'm going to hit this with snow foam after, but it just shows you. So, clean side there, dirty rear. Speed it up for your enjoyment. Don't worry, I did get that bit underneath that um, bumper. Nice to see these cars actually getting used. Far too many of these are just sit on people's drives and they go to a, a show and come back. This actually gets hooned about. Apologies for this next clip. Because I haven't got my own cameraman, the, uh, you can only do so much with the ISO and the aperture, but when the snow foam hits, 
it doesn't like it. It goes very glary. So apologies for that. TDG snow foam, as seen in previous videos. Pretty effective, this stuff. So this car was machine polished by me four months ago. You can check that video out. Working on a car that's been uh, prepped is a lot easier. One of the reasons I, I didn't hit the roof with snow foam is I wanted to use some APC on the roof. It's got these spider sort of, well, spider poo marks, I suppose, where it's been sat in a barn. Um, it resides in a barn when it's not getting hooned around the country lanes. And I didn't want to hit the entire roof with a pressure washer because the roofs are not the best of fits. So a rinse down and then moving on to a two bucket wash. ODK Jet Shampoo for this one. It's got a lot of um, lubricants in this shampoo. It does provide some really good finishes. So this was all finished off, rinsed down again, and then dried. And then we move on to the main event, which is the LSP. This is Auto Glance Sift Seal, hybrid cream sealant. Best of both worlds, and you'll see why in a minute. Then you need um, a few dots on your um, applicator pad. Again, this is a TDG applicator pad. You can get these uh, from Mick's site. I will put a link to his website underneath. As I will with the Auto Glance products. There's not just one Auto Glance product in this video. So give this 10 to 15 minutes, the weather depending. Very damp, dank day it was when I did this. This was on Black Friday and it was cold as well. So I'd say a minimum of 10 minutes. Now, what I did with this, I did the entire car, waited a while, and then buffed it off, just to allow it to bond. There's no streaky residue with this. You can cover pretty much everything with it. And what it does say is use a plush towel. So not one of your thinner, um, lesser GSMs. Use a high GSM. Um, microfiber, flick it over. It is really easy to take off. It's not like taking wax off this at all. Now this one, I've been using this for quite some time now. This is a glass cleaner, but it's actually a repellent. If you've got a really dirty windscreen, I suggest you use um, a glass cleaner first before you use this. Although this is primarily a glass cleaner, they do recommend you use a separate glass cleaner although it still does a good job. It's brilliant stuff, this. Speeds up lovely. If you think I'm gonna spray this car after, you're greatly mistaken. No beading shots in this video. And this was the finish. It's quite late in the day, this was. It still produces some fantastic results with gloss. You'll probably get about at least three months out of this. And there's some nice interior shots for you. Fully caged, an absolute nightmare to get in this car. The wonders of modern technology. We have reached the end of this video. Yeah, a few issues with this video with my knackered, um, it's actually a chafed up wire that goes into my uh, pressure washer. If you've got a Neil Fisk pressure washer, it's got a housing and the wire goes in and it chafes over a period of time and goes cuts into your live and your neutral wires, thus rendering you absolutely useless. That's now been rectified by my good buddy. He's now fixed it because I'm shite with electrics. Yeah, I know, it's only a wire, but what the hell. Um, so. 
this car, uh, this has been used and abused. It's been on a road trip and it just needed that top up of a good quality sealant. But I didn't want to lose the gloss element because with sealants, some sealants, they have like a dulling effect. Not, you know, not like matte finish but like fk 1000p which is i know it's old but i remember using that years ago and you put it on you think oh, it's glossy but it's not like a wax which you, you need something you know something that's sort of in between so something that's going to give you gloss and give you protection now you can do this a number of ways you can do combos you can do a pure sealant a spray on sealant or whatever sealant you want to use and then you can top it with a hard paste wax or carnauba wax, a liquid wax, and then have that brilliant combo, or just get one bottle of Autoglance Sif Seal. Now, I've used, in the past, Autoglance shampoo, I've done a video on that, uh, the bug off video, and also used the um, windscreen or water repellent glass cleaner, which I've actually used on this, as you saw. All very, very good products. I know they've got a massive range. And today's Black Friday. A little bit of advertising for you. So go and delve onto their website. All my links for products will always be under the videos. Um, I had a couple of DMs in a week saying we can't find the brushes for the Details Passions. Uh, you haven't put the link on. Honestly, I always put a link under the video. So go check out the websites. Peruse and trawl through. Spend all your cash. Why not? It's Friday. So... Um, Thanks to Water Glance, by the way, because um, I've had this knocking around in my cupboard and I've used it, but it really is good. And I know you make some blooming good products. I'll try and feature uh, more of your products on the channel. Um, this week, I should have been doing a tire dressing uh, video. That's coming up very, very soon. Apologies to uh, Black Pearl. Apologies to Tom. Um, it is coming very, very soon, but this had to be done. So. What can I say? Uh, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe. Just come past 1,600 subscribers. Not bad, eh? Not bad for a Essex welder, come detailer. So keep subscribing. Keep putting your thumbs up. See you on the next video, guys. Tell you bye.